Oklahoma it's City is kind of... I mean, there's people talking now like I'd never heard people ask the question before because it was such a ridiculous question 10, 15 years ago. And, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we're kind of getting off into the weeds. Yeah, fuck, it's a podcast. Let's do it. Hey, is it talk about sports? Can, yeah, and it's about sports. That's Can right, baby. Oklahoma City support an NFL team? I hear people asking about that. Because, you know, you got all these teams moving around. you got the Rams going back to L.A. Your, your Raiders, did you hear about your yeah, Raiders? They, yeah, they kind of tease that. Like, hey, He's going out to Vegas. City. Yeah. He's going a, out to Vegas to, to, to kind of look at venues. They're, they're using they, – this is what – well, not just the Raiders, but any NFL team that like, hey, we need a new stadium. You know what we do? We go find somewhere else that, that, and we that use them as team. leverage. Yeah. And go, hey, hometown, we'll, 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 we'll jump over here. <laughs> if you just, you know – Want to kick in for a stadium? Then we might decide to stay. Oh, what what, are the, what a coincidence! That's why they were bringing up uh, San Antonio for the radio. Yeah, Raiders, yeah, I heard know, about that too. Know, San Antonio you know, all, or here, they did the same thing because everyone was like, "Hey, you know." So we here, could. so here's the question though: Do you think Oklahoma City can support an NFL team? Short answer: No. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so either. Not yet. Not not that it couldn't like in will and fan base and people wanting to support it. It's just you've got to look at like the logistics. You got to look at like, is there a stadium? No. No. Is there going to be one? If so, who's paying for it? Yeah. I mean, that whole that whole nightmare that it turns into yeah. has to be figured out. And then, then and you've, you've got to look at like you've the got to fill that thing to be successful. That too, you got to you got to look at the surrounding and, I mean, population. Oklahomans are pretty fanatic about football, college football. I think it could translate into NFL, but like you said, you got to build that stadium first. You well, you know, they kind of talked about like with the Thunder. Like, when the Thunder, or before we even actually had an NBA team, they were like, could we support an, any national thing? Because we're just so college whatever-centric. Whether it's college yeah. football or basketball, that's it. Yeah. And I don't but think... I think the Thunder have done pretty good. Of course, yeah. of course having, you know, you know, such great players that yeah. we have. Going, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got to look at, like, our like the past five years and think, would we have been so into it if, like, we had been so good as a team? Yeah, like... I don't know. know. You know? What, what if... Yeah, like, what if we were the... The Hornets, you know, or something. I mean, because remember, they're talking about the Hornets coming here, possibly. And just staying here. Yeah. And now, granted, we supported, I think, when I say we, you know, I, I'm going to say we, fuck it, I don't care. I'm from here. We, even though I never <laughs> went to a single game, we supported the Hornets well during their time here. But the question, you know, was, you know, well, yeah, can we do that for a whole year? And I think, you know, granted, it doesn't hurt that, you know, the team that we, uh, I mean, you could, you know, if you're listening to Seattle, yeah, we stole it from you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Whatever. It's here now. Uh, That's a whole headache. Yeah, I understand why people are pissed off about I mean, I understand. I get why people in Seattle are pissed off about For all sorts of reasons. Yeah, I, I get not it. Not just that they lost their team, but like... How they lost it. Not. Yeah, it's like they, they want to blame like we stole it from them, but I'm like, your city also just gave it away. It's true. So... And hey, guess what? You know what? Hey, it's a two-way street. <laughs> You, you you lost the Supersonics. Nothing saying you can't bring them back later. Maybe you yeah. will. You did win a Super Bowl though. The Seahawks, you know. So hey, hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, gotta have me, a little. They got, they, let me they've ask been you doing this. Okay. Let me ask you this. Look at MLS in Seattle too. They're one of the best teams. They they sell out the same stadium that the Seahawks play in. They sell that entire stadium out just for soccer. Well, there you go. This is for the Sounders. Yeah. So they're they're fine. Yeah. They're fine. Have and fun. again, they could always bring, you know, the the Supersonics could always come back. Yeah. Um but I but it kind of makes me, a, you know, just sort of a, a you know, an impossible hypothetical. If you were how, how many Seattle fans do you think would be like, "All right, so you can keep the Supersonics, but you don't win a Super Bowl." Do you think they would sacrifice <laughs> the Supersonics to win a Super Bowl? Yeah, so then maybe, my question yeah. to you would be, would you sacrifice would you sacrifice the Thunder to win a national title in football, or would you sacrifice OU football to win a title in well, basketball? Well, with that question, I'm like, well, okay, what team is it that's going to be here? Is it the Raiders? Well, hell yeah. How, uh, but, well, oh, no, no, no. I'm just saying, no, with what's here right now. Say the Thunder are never going to win a title unless for 15 years OU football like has a losing record. I could handle that. I could handle that, too. Because I, because I was a fan when they sucked yeah, anyway, throughout the 90s. Yeah. So it's... It's nothing new, and quite frankly, uh, once Bob Stoops leaves, you got to think. Me personally, that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, it's, there's going to be a dip. There's got to. There's. I mean, you know, it all depends on who comes never in know. here. I mean, maybe we will get Nick Saban, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I heard something about Nick Saban on a pod, Bill Simmons podcast, and he called him the. Uh, he's the champion at checkers. 
the champion of checkers. Yeah, because he's a, you know college football versus you know real real football. What I call real football. That's fucked NFL. up. That's <laughs> what, <laughs> I but mean, it is. I mean, you're still it, the champ like of checkers. College I guess. basketball, college football. I'm like, it's neat, and 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 I, there's probably people listening to this going, what the hell, you know? Because <laughs> OU's actually, I, shit, we're like number one right now. We've got yeah, OU's, we're like doing really well. Yeah, hell, OU's so good they get ranked number one and turn right around and lose a game. Still number one, baby. <laughs> That's so good. But, I mean, are. they are they are actually you know really good just compared to God. It's I mean, how long has it been? The, it's been a while since they've been this good. Yeah, I well, know what it's was like it? Early you know, '90s, uh, I think. No, 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 no. It was uh, OSU. It I always know OSU is a better basketball team than OU. Well, personally, uh, just, but I in don't. Recent I don't like memory, college. yes. However, don't forget. OU played in some national title games, at least one in the eighties. You had that was thirty years. You had ago, Kelvin man. Sampson when went to the Final Four a couple of years when we had a uh, uh, Hollis Price and uh, Qantas White. We had a good team there. I think it was an Elite Eight and then a Final Four team. Granted, yeah, I mean it's hard. You know, Eddie Sutton had a pretty damn good run at Oklahoma State. Never, you know, won at all or anything, but man, competed a lot in the. They're contending deep the, a yeah, lot. They were competing deep into the tournament. So yeah, I think overall, at least for the last twenty years or so, yeah, I think you, I think you could say, it's uh, Oklahoma State basketball has been better than OU basketball. But I don't think OU basketball has been a doormat. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, not every year. Um, but anyway, so. What were we talking about? I thought I'm I'm talking about sports, that. man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, just uh, you know, the teams and. Like we kind of started on like could, could uh, Oklahoma City? Yeah, I just support? don't think I don't think we could right now. I don't I don't think so either. The salaries are too big. I don't know. I mean, you know, honestly, off the top of my head, I could. I mean, I could tell you that I think it's more. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's more. But what's the disparity between how much the payroll for an NFL team is compared to how much a pay, the payroll for an NBA team is? It's got to be pretty big. It's, it's, more people it, oh, for yeah. one. Uh, more players, more just, staff. Let me pull the numbers off, like some top of my head. Like a few years ago, I think the salary cap for the NFL was somewhere around like 125 to 150 million. That's for the team. There's no salary cap in NBA. They well, have, where's, where, do, where does the luxury tax kick in? Uh, Which you could these call are, you know, and this is all changing too. Sure, sure, sure. Just top of your like, head. Just uh, I think it part. was somewhere around like 70, 70 million, okay. and then yeah. maybe like 80. Or, or it was like sixty or seventy because they have like they have like different lines in NBA where yeah. it's like you have a you have your cap and then you have your luxury tax line and then past that, so it's definitely lower than NFL. And okay. you got to think not a, a you know a team doesn't have to spend that entire cap. You have a floor. That sure, you sure. Like my Raiders, they have I think God it's close to like sixty million dollars in cap space that they haven't spent in the past two years. Really? Yes. So. Yeah. That's what teams, you know, they kind of, you know, how they arrange their rosters. They, you know, can then go out and maybe get a free agent, spend some money here and there. That You know, look at the opposite end of the spectrum. Look at, like, a team like the Saints. Kind of why they just dropped off is they were always up there on the cap or over the cap before they even made a move. And so they were like, well, that's why, you know, Jimmy Graham goes to Seattle. They're like, hey, we just got to get your ass out of here because we literally can't pay you. Yeah, we can't afford you anymore. Yeah, and 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 other players. That's just a big name one. But. Sure, sure. Okay, so I think we both agree. Yeah, right now at least probably couldn't support an NFL team. 